Hi there. Uh, today we're going to take a look at an application called Time Toast, where you will be creating a virtual uh, timeline on the computer, uh, uploading images and creating text to go along with the dates of the important events. So the first thing you're want to, going to want to do is to create an account. Right up here is your sign up button. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then once you are signed up and logged in, then we will uh, go through the next step. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. So once you've signed in, you're going to go up to the corner um, to where it says your timelines, and you're going to click on that. And you'll see I've already created one timeline on here, um, but I want to create a new timeline, so I'm going to click on add a new timeline. And here I'm going to call it the history of Berlin after World War II. Okay, and I can choose an image from uh, the image gallery. I'm not going to bother doing that now, but you can definitely take a time to do that. Um, it's a really, really easy uh, application to use. It really walks you through it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event. And the first thing I'm going to add is the creation of the Berlin Wall. And that was on the 13th of August, but that wasn't in 2013. So that was in 1961. Okay, um, I can choose an image. And I could choose any of these from my own um, gallery, or I can upload an image here from my, from my computer. And you can also go onto Google Images and download the pictures there and then bring them back up. So, so that's how you choose an image. And I'm going to create the event. I'm going to give it a description. I'm going to say on this day, the, or no, let's say overnight, the Berlin Wall was constructed with sandbags and barbed wire. And I'm going to create that event. And look, there it'll show up right on my timeline. So my timeline is going to stretch along here. Um, I'm going to add another event, and we're going to add the fall of the wall. Add an image, change the date. That was on, as you all know, the 9th of November, 1989. So create that. Oh, there's our time frame from 1961 to 1989. Okay. Um, we can also add time spans. Um, so now I'm going to enter a time span, and this is going to be the Berlin Airlift. And that was from the 24th of June. in 1948 to May 12th, 1949. Okay, and I'm going to create the time span. And then if we scroll down this way, see this little information there that's the time span so next I'm going to create a time span for uh, the existence of the DDR now what I'm going to do I'm not exactly sure when the exact date was because you know the existence of a country it didn't really you know begin or end on a specific day uh, so I'm going to put in the the German Democratic Republic, and that was from 1949 until 1990. Now, I will tell you, it is mandatory that you use these dates, but what if you can't figure out what the exact date was? My recommendation, make it the 1st of January. 
And then that way I'll know that you know it's not really a date. It's just, you know, a, an idea. Okay? So we've created that. There we go. So the time just is coming together. All you need to do now is add the rest of the information and add some images. And I will show you how to do that here. Let's do, try the upload page. So I'm going to upload a photo. I'm going to choose a lovely picture here of the Berlin Airlift. So I'm going to upload that one. So I'm uploading, waiting patiently for it to upload. And it is successfully uploaded. So now I go back to my timeline. And this is the one I'm working on. And I want to edit it. So you can see from here it's in draft mode, which is great because I'm not ready to show it to anybody yet. Um, but I'm going to, um, with the airlift, I want to see, I can't add an image to that, but that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that end date and I'm going to make it a date, a fixed date. So the 12th of May, 1949, I'm going to add an event and it's going to be the end of the airlift. Okay, so May, and that was on May 12th in 1949. And now I'm going to click on here, choose an image, and then there's my Berlin Airlift picture. So I want to use that. And so there's the image. And in here, I can add all different kinds of details about that give a little more um, information about the Berlin Airlift and the facts that I have learned all kinds of things like that. So uh, you can see this is a really, really easy, um, easy application to use. Uh, you can take all different kinds of information and um, put them together in a logical way for those of us who are linear thinkers and it helps to see um, things along a timeline. Um, this is a wonderful tool. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, lovely screencast. <laughs> Thanks.